can you learn differential geometry with a basic school level background in geometry is it possible to learn such an advanced subject with a primary fundamental ground level experience is there any book which can guide you to this approach sounds weird right in this video i am going to talk about a magical book which is self complete and teaches you everything that you need to learn about geometry starting from school level geometry like angles and triangles this book takes you in a step by step approach to the final frontier that is hyperbolic geometry a key and an important understanding and your first step to differential geometry remember this book assumes nothing about your knowledge my name is shonak and you're watching this video on my channel physics for students welcome to the 15th lesson of introducing differential geometry where we are talking about a book and the learning process starting from school level going up to hyperbolic geometry so because we are directly jumping into this book we don't have any table of contents to cover today straight away we are going to understand why we are understanding or why we are talking about hyperbolic geometry now see in mathematics hyperbolic geometry is basically a non euclidean geometry and we can tell that it is the first step to start learning differential geometry at a very preliminary but a very basic and an important level now you might be asking me that why it is the first step to start learning differential geometry and here are the possible probable answers first of all it is less compared to other surfaces because it is a kind of a saddle shaped surface right it is very close to euclidean geometry and that is why the relationship and drawing the similarity becomes easier and the learning becomes faster and we can always start to draw similarities between the shapes and objects we know so that knowing something and then knowing the unknown it becomes easier to understand so and historically it carries a significance now when i talk of historically it carries a significance what i mean by that coming up in the next part of our video now see that first just for the completeness i will mention the historical reason the discovery of hyperbolic geometry was in the in my opinion the second most important event in the history of math mathematics the first obviously being euclid's introduction of the axiomatic method now up until the 19th century everyone thought of axioms as self evident truths about the real world which could be built upon to derive less self evident truths since the discovery of hyperbolic geometry axioms have been thought of as more or less arbitrary assumptions that could be used to get an axiomatic system started and then everything proved within that system is exactly as valid as the axioms themselves so it is the foundation of the way we currently understand mathematical truth uh, and this is really very important and that is why i called it the historical importance the second one is that the hyperbolic geometry on the unique disk or we can say equivalently the upper half plane is basically a central role it plays a central role in complex analysis for example if we take the schwarzschild lemma it says that any holomorphic map from the unique disk to itself is either an isometry of the hyperbolic metric or a strict contraction anyway so this has important consequences for the understanding the nature of holomorphic maps now if we talk of geometry of surfaces most uh, connected of surfaces all but plane cylinder torus mobius stripe klein bottle sphere projective geom projective plane they carry a riemannian metric of constant negative curvature which is as you can know that they are locally isometric to hyperbolic plane because they all have got the negative curvature the entire hyperbolic plane so moreover all such surfaces can be realized as quotients of the hyperbolic plane modulo discrete groups of hyperbolic isometries okay when i talk about geometry of three manifolds well, i am trying to mean that the geometrization or the conjecture theorem says that every closed three manifold can be cut along spheres and tori into finitely many pieces 
Now, one of eight possible highly symmetric geometric structure, by far the richest of these structures is hyperbolic geometry, which accounts for most three manifolds. It is also relevant in cosmology because the leading candidates for modeling the shape of the universe as whole as this one, the Friedman, Lemar, Robertson, Walker models in which the spatial geometry of the universe is either flat, spherical or hyperbolic. So, which one depends on the average density of matter and energy of the value of the cosmological constant? Let us also remember that uh, Professor Andrew Wiles proved the Fermat's last theorem uh, using modular forms which are functions on the hyperbolic plane that satisfy a specific transformation property under a certain discrete, uh, I will say certain group of discrete uh, hyperbolic isometries. Now one thing I have not covered, uh, it should have been the art of M.C. Escher because the wonderful drawings of M.C. Escher's are all on hyperbolic plane. So this is the importance of hyperbolic geometry and now we move that what is the book that we are talking or what is that magical book that assumes nothing but teaches you everything. So this is the book Geometry Illuminated and it is written by Professor Matthew Harvey. Uh, more or less, this is the customer review up to 62% or something. And this is written by MAA, that is Mathematical Association of America. And it is quite a dense book of 561 pages. Okay, so before I come to uh, the content and describe that, I will be very honest and I will be very clear that I won't be able to, you know, do a detailed chapter wise because it would either be too long. We will soon understand the reason. Now, each of this chapter is divided, subdivided and further sub subdivided into many chapters. So it is a quite a detailed book. It would take, I think, more than one and a half, two hours to go for a detailed understanding. So what I'm doing is that I'm giving you a basic glimpse and the important features and diagrams and overall idea. Now, when I tell that, what do I mean by it is a too long book? Let us see in this part of the video. Okay, so you see, I am starting basically with the content and where it starts from. It starts from axioms and models. Then it starts with neutral geometry, where incidence, order, etc. there. Then you see it starts with the school level geometry, axis, angles and triangles, congruence, side, angle, side, angle, side, side, and angle, angle, side. Then it moves into distance, length, and axiom of continuity, angle measure, triangles in neutral geometry, polygons, different types of polygons, counting them, interior angles, everything, everything. It, it covers every single thing in details. The quadrilateral congruence theorems, and then it comes to Euclidean geometry. So first the neutral geometry, and then, so you see parallel projection, okay, similarity, triangles, then it comes to circles. We have all read this, but it is good that this book will teach you right from the beginning and it assumes that you know nothing about geometry, just a basic understanding. So you see circumference, then the Euclidean construction, concurrence 1, 2 and 3 and the trilinear coordinates. Next page we find Euclidean transformations, which are very central. It deals with analytic geometry, isometries, reflections, because otherwise without the transformation, we won't be able to move to some other plane right dilation etc then it moves to area and there are a lot of you know exercises which you can do areas of polygons barycentric centers inversion inversion to and here from the it is a little bit advanced applications of inversion hyperbolic geometry non-euclidean parallels pseudosphere geodesics upper of plane point kage disk or hyperbolic reflection and all those things so this book, why are we was calling it is impossible, is divided into 45 chapters. This is the overall axioms and models, which has got many sub chapters, neutral geometry, Euclidean geometry, Euclidean transformation and hyperbolic geometry. So overall, I can tell you that this is a very easy to do and it has got a lot of colored illustration. Now, if you're purchasing a hard copy book, it might be because I read the reviews, some of them do not contain a colored illustration in that way I will tell you how to procure the soft copy of the book. It gives a clear understanding 
and it is Euclidean hyperbolic geometry are covered very much in details. Okay, so here we come with the first part. You see, it starts with Fano's geometry, neutral geometry, incidence order, etc., angles and the triangles. Then I move on, and you see these are the illustrations. I just wanted to give you some of the illustrations. So on the next page, we get see, you see the axioms of incidence and order, angles and triangles, congruence. And all these are basic, you know, basic geometry. But it is good that it is starting so that step by step it will move into the advanced part. So in the next page we get something as congruency, angle angle side and you see all these are beautiful colored illustrations. And I can tell you that colored illustrations actually helps when you are learning geometry. Okay, so you move. We move to the sixth chapter, which is distance, length, axioms, and continuity. You see that how this rulers measures, and how you know there is an additive condition, and how it goes to infinity. Everything, everything, and it is covered in utmost detail. So as I told you, I'm sorry that I cannot cover the entire book because it is very detailed and it will take a long time. Then you see we move on to the polygons and polygons are being well illustrated. These are all the some of the samples that I have taken from the book and these are all colored. So I mean to say this is wonderful. And then I skip and move into orientation of hyperbolic isometries. This is the hyperbolic isometry. All those figures, etc., sphere, everything is given. Okay, if I want to rate the book and I want to tell you honestly what this book is all about, then what I need to tell you is that with a basic background in school level geometry, you can read this book, first of all. Second is that it assumes nothing. So you can just start right at the point, go wherever you are sitting or whatever you are doing. Any novice from expert can read this. There are beautiful colored illustration and lastly this expensive Copiously illustrated textbook provides a rigorous and detailed treatments of Euclidean hyperbolic geometry. Professor Harvey, University of Virginia at Wise, actually begins with a thorough development of neutral geometry, which uh, is geometry without the assumption of the parallel postulate, and then discusses Euclidean geometry, hyperbolic geometry. You can believe me on a very honest and serious note, this book is the book which will teach you everything right from triangles and and will go as advanced as hyperbolic geometry you just have to need to go it step by step okay now comes the big question how to get this book it is very simple you need to subscribe to my channel physics for students or you can email me or send me a whatsapp message and I will share it in Google Drive so that you can get it so that's all for today's video. I don't have to tell much. I am very thankful for those who have watched this video and you can please subscribe to my channel Physics for Students. Click on the bell icon to get all the notification. I am available in this email ID which you can contact me at any time. I have got a specialized channel called General Relativity Explained which is there in YouTube and further you can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn channel. So this is the book which will going to teach you and you can start right from the point go without any assumptions, just a basic school level geometry and it will take you to hyperbola. Now once you come up and cover hyperbola, we will come up in the next part of the video that what you need to cover. Coming up soon from students, yet another interesting video. Stay tuned. Bye. Till then, goodbye.